Oh, hey there. Didn't see you come in. What am I doing, you ask? Well, I'm actually checking out a way to make money online by listening to music right on my phone because a bunch of YouTubers have said that I can make hundreds of dollars per day just by doing so. In fact, let me actually check out my progress right now. Let's see. After a couple of hours of listening, I've gone to 3% of $6. Hey, what is up? This is Fred from Influencer Unchained, and in today's sort of different video, we're gonna be essentially debunking a method for making money online that's frequently been used as clickbait and also with very large earnings numbers attached to it. And so in this video, having tried out several different apps and websites for earning by listening to music myself, I'm gonna give you an overview of what to actually expect from them and whether or not there are situations in which they could actually be worth it. But before we get started with the video, do me a quick favor by just gently smashing the like button as it really does help. And also consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and ringing the notification bell for more cutting edge videos about making money online and digital entrepreneurship just like this one. And with that, let's get started with the video. So the first app I want to talk about today is the current music screen app because it's one of the more popular ones that people have been mentioning in their videos lately and so I thought I'd check it out myself. So current music screen is an app that allows you to earn points by listening to their music playlists which you can then convert over to PayPal money. And the reason I'm doing a deep dive on this is because some YouTubers have claimed that with this app and a few other apps and websites that I'll briefly go over as well, that one can actually earn hundreds of dollars per day just by listening to music. And you know what? I've had enough of that BS. It's showtime. Not only do many people claim misleading results without having actually researched or tried these methods themselves, but I also believe that this sort of clickbaity practice is just very bad for the community who are given false hopes. And so in this video, having actually tried the current music screen app, this is my full experience of using the app. What was good about it, what was bad about it, and so it isn't actually all bad by the way. And I also calculate for you how much you can expect to earn with this app and similar ones going full throttle listening to over 12 hours of music per day. And getting into how the app actually works, after obviously downloading it from either of the app stores depending on which device you have um, and of note is that this app is actually rated quite highly on both the google play store and the um, apple app store and like i said i really do think that it can be an enjoyable app just not nearly as profitable as many people have claimed and even on their website it states that on the top right that you can earn 600 dollars per year however we shall stay skeptical and put that to the test so logging into the app You'll find their interface to be very easy to navigate and you'll be able to select from a plethora of playlists of many different genres. I personally went for the hip hop classics playlist and actually found it quite enjoyable. In my opinion, apart from not being able to select the specific songs you want to listen to or skip ahead to the next song, the listening experience is actually pretty decent. And in a few hours of listening, I don't remember ever being interrupted by any ads, at least not from the radio itself. Instead, you'll find several ads not only in the app itself, but also being put onto your sort of second lock screen, which comes up after you unlock your phone, which you then have to unlock a second time. I'm going to place him in an easily escapable situation involving an overly elaborate and exotic death. Now, taking a deep dive into how much I actually earned in my first few hours of listening almost non-stop to current, first of all, there are a few one-time bonuses you can collect such as being a new member as well as filling in a bit of information I believe, and you also get a daily bonus of I think 60 points for just logging in and listening to a song. And as for how many points you get per song, it actually becomes a pretty slow burn as I was averaging between 6 to 7 points per song with the variance likely being due to different songs being of different lengths. For example, I have a screenshot here of me having 526 points, and then when I skipped over to the next song, I had 532 points. Now, using these numbers as a baseline, and just to be a little more generous here, let's say that each 3 minute song is worth 7 points, and that we listen to 12 hours of songs non-stop each day. And by the way, you can't really have the app continue to earn while you sleep because you actually have to go in to collect your points every two hours, which is the way that the app prevents people from just leaving it on, say, an old phone. Of course! Anyway, coming back to the stats, going by 7 points per 3 minute song, that is 20 songs or 140 points per hour, multiply that by 12 hours, and we get 1680 points, assuming you never stop listening and remember to collect your points every two hours. 
And let's not forget that there's actually a 60 point bonus for just logging in every day. So if we add on that 60 points, that would be 1740 points every day if you listen for 12 hours. Next, if we take a look at how many points it takes to cash out via PayPal, currently what I'm seeing with the best rate, which usually is just the one with the highest payout, is $20 in exchange for 35,000 points. And in order to calculate how many days it will take for a person listening for 12 hours a day, every single day non-stop, to reach this amount, we can simply take 35,000 points divided by 1740 points, which is the amount they would earn in a day, and the result we get is, drumroll, 20 days. <laughs> and going by these numbers, since it takes a person just over 20 days to reach the cash out threshold for $20, this then translates into roughly a dollar per day, listening for 12 hours per day. And that is obviously a far cry from what people are claiming on YouTube. And if we actually revisit what current themselves are claiming, which is $600 per year, going by our numbers, which is a dollar per day, one would expect to earn about $365 per year since there are 365 days in a year. However, theoretically, it's still possible to earn $600 a year, but that's only if a person is still able to collect points during the hours in a day that was supposedly cut into the sleep. Remember, you actually have to manually go to the app to collect your points every two hours. And a person could also earn some extra points by completing surveys and doing some other tasks on the app, but since those tasks are not actually listening to music, which is what people originally get the app for, I will not take those points into consideration. And just one more thing about current that I found a bit annoying was that aside from having that second additional lock screen you need to swipe away, if you actually try to close the app by swiping it up as I would normally do on my Android phone, that action does not actually close the app and so instead I have to go into my settings to force it to close. And so with all these things in mind, is the current music screen app worth it? Well, I think it depends. If you're merely after a way to make a lot of money online, even if this is a fairly passive thing, you do have to weigh the few cents to a dollar you earn per day against having that additional ad filled lock screen and not being able to choose your songs like with Spotify on your phone. And on the other hand, if you actually enjoy the playlist on the app, you can actually earn a couple of dollars here and there every few days, which is ultimately free money. Hello, I like money. And as for some other similar music sites and apps you can consider alongside Current, we also have Playlist Push, which is yet another victim of being frequently used as clickbait on YouTube because it's not that easy to actually become a curator for this platform. And by the way, the way you would earn on here is to review songs for $12 a pop, but you do have to apply and it's obviously not the same as just listening to music because you have to actually consider whether it's worth your time and effort to do this type of work. Also, they recently added another opportunity for earning as a TikTok creator, which likely entails promoting songs for them on TikTok. And now for a couple of alternative websites to playlist push where you also rate songs, but you also do have to apply and they don't necessarily pay very well. We first have Music X-Ray, which is really hard to navigate by the way. And then we also have another one called Hit Predictor. And personally, I would not bother with these two. But lastly, we also have a couple more sites that are more similar to current on which you can earn again quite slowly by listening to radio stations. But they could actually be stackable by the way. Anyway, we have RadioEarn.com which actually has pretty bad reviews and seem to have some payment problems. And then we also have CyberFM which actually has good reviews but they actually pay through a cryptocurrency which you'll then have to convert to your own currency. And that is all I want to share today regarding Current and some other money making music apps. My hope with this video is to provide people a much more accurate take on what to actually expect from these types of apps. And that essentially anything that seems like a free lunch is usually just clickbait or a scam. And that stuff that's actually worth doing take actual effort. Anyway, thank you so much for watching the video. Help me spread the word if you can. Remember to like the video if you liked it. And also subscribe to my channel for more cutting edge videos about making money online and digital entrepreneurship just like this one. And with that, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.